Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm Nick Bane. In the last episode we got a bunch of golden bugs and we got a bunch of, well... Uh, no, we really didn't get much for heart pieces in the last episode, did we? But we got golden bugs. A couple of them, anyway. <clears throat> As you can see by looking at the golden bugs thing... We are only missing four. And we can't even access the area where the other, well, the areas where the other four are. So, the first thing we're going to do in this episode is go in here. Just fucking because. That's right. I said it. Get over it. And this is the fishing hole in this game, everybody. Every time you go through that door into this area, every time you enter this area, you get... It's a different season. They actually have all four seasons programmed into the game. In for this, and every time you enter the door, it's different. What does this sign say? Don't litter. Do not toss empty bottles or cans in here. The fish are crying. Keep the fishing hole clean. That's a hint. That's a hint if ever I heard one. So, why don't we equip this fishing rod? Sound good to you? Because it sounds good to me. Back. Let's, let's try fishing, shall we? See if we can't catch ourselves a bottle. I think it, it it might be random on when you can get the bottle in this part. I know that uh, you have to read the sign first before you can get it, but I don't know if it's random, like, which the spot you stand in, or which tug it is, or what, or, you know, because sometimes you actually do get stupid little green gill fish, so... Come on. Yes! Yes! Come on! And look at that! First try, we got an empty bottle. I'm counting that as the first try because it's the only thing I actually caught on the hook. Not only can you use this, but it'll clean up the waterway in the process. Two birds, one stone. Yes. So, now, as you can see, we have three bottles! Sweet deal. It is always nice to have extra bottles, isn't it? Isn't it? I believe it is, good sir. Alright, let's go see what's in that house there, huh? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Old pal, old chum, old fart. What? Alrighty. <laughs> oh my god, look at this place. That's crazy. Hi there! Hey, you... You've never been here before, have you? Well, I'm the owner of this fishing hole. My name's Henna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Before we do anything, I'm going to look at these pictures, though. That's my older brother, Koro, and a 25-inch Gordon catfish he caught. Hey, we know that guy. He's the one who gave us the lantern. He's the only one in our family who's lousy at fishing. He only managed to catch that fish by using a sinking lure. Cheater. Ocarina of time, anybody? Whoa, no, no. That one. There we go. That's one of Hyrule's legendary master fishermen. Look, he's got a Hylian loach, doesn't he? He just may be one of my ancestors. Of course, I can't exactly prove that. It's kind of just wishful thinking on my part. Yeah, and Link caught that Hylian loach. Not him. Oh, spoilers! That's me and the first fish I caught here. A 28-inch Hylian pike. I swear, I'll never forget that day. Such sweet memories. Next one is... The Afro chick who was living in the boonies. That's my older sister. That shot is from the day she caught herself a 17-inch Hyrule bass. Her name is Isa, by the way. Make sure you drop by her boat rental shop sometime, okay? Hey, sounds like a fucking plan to me. That's a 22-inch Hyrule bass I caught. It's not very big, but it's a fish I spotted and caught all by myself, so I took that picture. You run a fishing hole, and... Just the way you word that sounds like it's something that rarely ever happens. You want to try some lure fishing? 20 rupees for the whole deal. No time limit. Canoe rentals included. Does that sound okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Well, seeing how this is your first time and all, I'll throw in the guide service for free. Let's get fishing. So yeah, some things about fishing in this game really quick. You can have her come out with you as a guide, or you can choose to do so to go out on your own if you want. Uh, fishing, you actually use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck like a fishing pole to reel in your catch. And there's almost nothing gained by fishing. I know, I spent a very long time trying, and you really can't gain anything. This is about it right here. 
See if I can get this. Look at that! What's that? A piece of heart? Ooh, whose heart did you catch, you big sweetheart? Don't be shy, this one's yours to keep. Alright, honestly? That is about it for this area. What do you want to do? Call it quits. You really want to quit? Damn, Skippy, I do. There is nothing else to be gained by fishing in this game except for filling in your fish log, and that doesn't really give you anything. Oh, all done? Too bad this time, huh? Oh, well, it happens. Well, better luck next time. I'm sorry to inform you, Henna, that there will be no next time. I will not be returning to this place, because there's no reason to. I just got everything there is to get in this area of the game. It's a nice little diversion. Um, I'm not going to waste video time on a diversion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody, but it's just not happening. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew. Alrighty. So, hey, she said to talk to Isa, right? Well, let's talk to Isa. Hmm? Hmm? A customer? Sorry, but we're temporarily closed. What? Yeah. What? I said we're closed. Now scram. Well, fine. Fuck you too, bitch. Oh, God. All right. We got this. We got this. This is easy. We've done this a million times. How many we got? Un, deux, trois. Easy as pie. Ha! <laughs> Scared, bitch. Oh, God. Ow! That wasn't fair. Yeah, take that. Cock-sucking piece of shit. Alright. Yes! Yes, sir. No! Oh, you buttfucker. Oh, come on. That's bologna sauce. Yeah, you die. Alright, both of you guys. Over here. Come on, front and center. Whoa. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look, look at, look at, look at the human. Look at the human. Damn it! Fuck! Fuck! We had this! So many times we should have had this. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, this, this can't be happening. This isn't really happening. Thank you! Jesus Christ! Jesus jumped up! Christ! Jeez, look at all the time I done wasted. Whoa, that scared me. Who are you? How can you keep your cool fighting monsters like that? Uh, wow, you... Wow, what a champ you are! I'm the champ. Well, what are we standing around jawing for? Come inside. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, stupidity for the win. Golly. Talk about scary. I thought I was done for. Things have been getting pretty crazy around here, let me tell you. So, thanks for earlier. My name's Isa. I rent boats here. Well, I used to rent boats here. But then we had a rock fall and it dammed the river up. Yeah, I could sure use a helpful guy around at times like this. Are you trying to seduce me, ma'am? Yep, a handy guy would sure be a big help around here. You are trying to seduce me. Really? You're a lifesaver. I am not a sucker candy. Well, do you think you could do something about that rock? I'll give you some bombs and arrows, so you just put them together and shoot bomb arrows at that thing. And look at that! Holy shit! We have three bomb bags in our inventory! Alright, but let's, let's do this thing for her, shall we? Oh, another one! That's some tough rock right there. But... Easy enough. Easy enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! You did it! Well, my gal tells me there's still some rocks blocking the way along the river, so you should take care of those, too. Here's the boat. Hop in. Alright. I'm on a boat! Now, it's a teensy bit dangerous down river of here, so don't leave the boat, okay? One of our part-timers is waiting down there, so you can get the details from her. And when you're done, you can keep that bomb bag and everything in it as a token of my appreciation. Awesome! We got all three! So, be seeing ya! And, I don't know if it works on the first time you're going down the river, but a pretty good rule of thumb with 
this whole portion of the game. Okay, it does not work going down this part of the river. A pretty good rule of thumb usually with this portion of the game is if you don't touch the control stick at all, Link won't crash into anything. The, the current just pulls you in the right direction automatically. However, that apparently does not work with this part because I'm not touching the control stick and I've already bumped into two fucking things. So, well, well. Dude. Dude. You're so fucking young. Oh my god, stop it. <clears throat> Honestly, controlling yourself in this river is so difficult as it is. It's almost pointless to try anyway. Like, see that? I got that ruby by pure luck. Pure luck. So now we got a little while to float around the river with nothing to do until we get to where her gal is, whoever that is. Um, dude, stop hitting shit. What's that? What's that in the river? What is that? Oh, it's Azura! Ah, you've come at the request of the shop owner, haven't you? Well, I'm in her employ, part-time for now. I'm sorry we've troubled you, so... You see, these rocks are blocking the natural flow of the river. All you need to do is use your bomb arrows to destroy the blockage. Ew. There we go! Job well done, sir and madam. You did it, thank you. Ah, the water has already begun to flow. Then I shall guide you to the mouth of the river. Follow me. You're gonna guide me into the mouth? You're gonna you're gonna guide me into the mouth. Hey, if you say so, lady. Blue rupee! We're gonna need some rupees for what I intend on doing later, dude. Wow, okay, technically he didn't hit that, I guess. Anyway. Uh yeah, so like I was saying, we're gonna need some rupees for what I intend on doing later. A little later. Yeah, that's another thing. When you sit in those waterfalls, you slow down a little bit. Oh, God! Head on collision. No, don't. Oh, 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 oh. You're backwards, Link. You're backwards. You're backwards. Crazy person. Crazy man. Stop hitting shit. Turn forward. Alright, alright. Are we going the right direction? It would appear to be so. Oh boy, 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 oh fuck. I missed the blue rupee. I missed another blue rupee. Oh, not good. I need rupees. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeepers. Oh jeepers creepers. Turn around, Link. You're facing the wrong direction. Luckily, she slows down. Not that it really matters. I mean, she didn't really need to lead us down to the mouth of the river. Uh... Because the water only really goes in one direction here, so even if you went the wrong way, it wouldn't make much of a difference, I guess, or something. Words? Oh, well. No, you, you can't really go the wrong way. There's no wrong way to go. As long as you follow the current, you make it to the bottom. She doesn't need to lead us there, but whatever. Whatever. Oh my gosh, that fucking guy! I don't know why they have this part with them going over the waterfall, because as soon as you hit here, you're no longer in control of the boat. I don't know why they included that being in control right before the waterfall, but... Good job out there. You've truly done us great service. Now the shop can finally reopen. When we were closed, my boss's temper only got worse and worse. It was a rough time for us all. Oh, and another thing. I don't suppose she promised you anything special for doing this, did she? Just that bomb bag, right? Yeah, she tends to bribe people with whatever's lying around. So stingy, really. It's alright. I'll let her know you kept it when I get back. <clears throat> Thank you. Bomb bag with bombs! Excellent, we've got three bomb bags now. Which I already mentioned earlier. Now, if you'll excuse me, come visit at the shop sometime. Alright, I will. Wait a minute, you're taking the boat? But, now I'm trapped here! Oh, shit. That means I need to get shot out of the cannon again, doesn't it? Alright. Well. Let's, let's go, shall we? 
There's one more thing I'm gonna do before we start the next temple, which will be happening in the next episode, everybody. Uh, which I believe will be posted Saturday, if I've got my videos and times right. I believe Saturday will be when I post my uh, first start the uh, the next temple. Um, which, if all goes according to plan, is tomorrow. Not not for me, but for you guys watching this, it's it's tomorrow. Yeah. All right, let's go talk to the cannon guy and get fired out of here. And actually, I'm probably gonna cut right here because what I'm gonna do is. I am gonna start giving money to that priest guy that said stuff about love. You have to donate 50 rupees at a time to him to get and get up to a thousand and whatnot. I'm gonna be donating the 50 rupees to him increments and getting up to a thousand to uh, get that piece of heart. So I will come back. I'll cut back in uh, when when we're getting the piece of heart, or if I need to like sell some golden bugs to get some money or something, I'll show you what she what uh, Agatha says. So. I will be right back. Okay, we're back, everybody, and this should be the last rupees that I need to give to him in order to get the heart piece. So, if you would, for the sake of peace and high rule, would you please make a donation? 50 rupees. May the spirit of love descend upon you. Yes! We gave him exactly 1,000 rupees, and we get a heart piece. Kind of expensive. Considering the last time we paid for a heart piece, we paid 20 rupees when we did the fishing hole. But it's okay because it gave us another heart container. So look at that. Uh, eight hearts. We haven't even gone into the second, the uh, third dungeon yet in the game, and we've already got eight hearts. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Enigbane, and I will see you next time when we start the temple. Bye.